everybody and welcome to a new vlog. Georgia here. I am joined today by a very special guest. This is young Raja. Hello everybody. Hello. What's up Georgia? I'm sure you guys know who he is already but do you want to introduce yourself? Well I'm a, I'm a young rapper from Singapore. I make music. I have a lot of fun doing what I do and I'm gonna bring Georgia around my neighborhood. Yes. I stay in Little India. It's one of the best places in Singapore and if you guys haven't been here Fun. I'm so excited. So I've not actually had a proper tour from a local Singaporean in the Little India area um, neighborhood before, so I'm super excited. How long have you lived here for? I've lived here since I was 10 years old. 10? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, so today you're basically going to be showing us some hidden spots around Little India, from mm -hmm. food to shopping, yeah. all of your favorite spots, and yes. I think it's going to be really interesting to take you guys along with us today. So right now we are at Anand Bhavan, one of the best Indian vegetarian restaurants you can find. Um, they're a franchise in India, they have a lot of outlets. In Singapore, they have a few outlets as well, but this is one of the OG outlets right here at Serangoon Road. Cool. And uh, I live just across the street, so my yeah. parents and I come here very often. Awesome, so we're gonna get some breakfast this morning. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just gonna let you decide for me what I'm gonna have. Okay, let's go take a look at the okay, menu. Okay, awesome, we're gonna, gonna go downstairs. Yeah. Let's go get some let's breakfast. Let's do that, let's do that. <laughs> Lovely folks that work in Anand Bhavan, good friends, good friends of my folks, my parents, OG, the rice varieties are usually for lunch. We, we have big filling lunches, usually they, we call this the tali set and they will have all these little side dishes, all these little curries and veg, yeah, so there's the rice varieties and patosas, all different, all these different kinds of tosas and all this Indian bread stuff. Chapati, naan and everything. This naan is North Indian. It's, yeah, naan is amazing. I, I can bring you to another restaurant. They sell super dope naan. But here, I would like for you to try the batura. This is a dish called puri. And I love puri. I made a remix. I, I, I made this uh, uh, remix called Puri Gang in 2018. Uh, it was a remix of Gucci Gang. And, uh, and my friends really loved it. The reason why I call it the puri gang is because I love puri. And I'm gonna let you try it. This is a very famous Indian dish called Pani Puri. It has this crispy. Oh, we got another dish. Okay, so that's called the rock. Is it rocket or something? Huh? It's called the rocket. It's meant to be standing up straight. Now it's the leaning tower. It's, it's Breakfast has arrived. Mm -hmm. Do you wanna tell us what we got? Okay. Before we eat anything else, I got this dish right here. Wheat, wheat, so this is wheat flour. Wheat flour. Wheat flour. Sweet chutney, chili chutney, and pudina chutney. Yeah. These are very healthy, That's all awesome. natural <laughs> ingredients inside. You put the tamarind juice inside, you just, you know, it'll be filled up with this, this portion, and then you just put okay. the whole thing in your mouth. Okay. Would you like to try this? Yes. So we take a little bit of this juice, like this. We're gonna put a little bit of this. We're gonna cheers, cheers. our pine puri, and the put whole the whole thing. thing in your mouth, the whole oh my thing. Gosh. Okay. Mm. Wow, that is an explosion in the mouth. Right. Wow. So many different flavors. Mm. Spicy. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. I've never tried anything like that before. Yeah. So this is usually an appetizer, or usually if we just have the feels for it. Wow. Yeah. This is the piece de resistance. Look at this. This is what I wanted to wanted you to try. Now this is called the batura which is essentially an upscale puri. You know what a puri is? The so puri is exactly like this, but smaller version. Okay. But butter is uh, South this, Indian guys. vegetarian curries. Wow. This is my favorite part. It's all the different curries. Mm -hmm. let's, let's try. Let's try this. So you just grab? Yeah. Oh, it's soft. Grab that. Let's okay. Try this, yeah. Yeah. Delicious. <laughs> I love Indian food so much. Yes. You know, like, I don't know if you know, but Brits grew up on Indian food. Oh, really? Yeah. Did you know the national dish of the UK <laughs> is apparently uh, chicken tikka masala? I'm not even wow. kidding. I'm not even kidding. Wow. I did, I did not know that. That's, that's very insightful. Yeah, so that's we crazy. like grew up on Indian food. Okay. <laughs> Check it out, guys. It's a rocket dosi. How many is this dosi? They call it the rock. But the bread is definitely a different consistency to the one we just had. Yes. Right? It's, there's this ingredient called ul ulundu. I don't know what it's called in English, but rice and ulundu mixed together. That's you get so this batter. Good. You take that batter and you 
put on a on a pan, you get tose. It's very oh healthy. Gosh. Is it? Yes, yeah, very healthy. Really? Yeah, it's very healthy. Wow, it's got a cheesy flavor to it. Can I try some? I don't know if that's coming from this. Cheesy flavor? Yeah. It's so good. Mm. Mm hmm. It's amazing. This is jangri. Jangri. This is milk goba. Okay. In Tamil, we call it pal goba. So it's made with milk, it's a little bit of milk inside. Mm -hmm. Very distinct tastes, they're both very sweet. But I don't want to say much, I would like for you to try it. Try the milk first. Oh, yeah. oh wow. That is milky. Mm -hmm. like it? That's really good. Mmm. It's really soft. It's kind of like white milk chocolate, mm -hmm. but just like soft and chewy. Oh my god, it's so good. I used to love this as a kid. Mm. All the time. Oh my god, that's amazing. So this right here, they've given us jalebi. Jalebi. So jalebi. And so this is jangri. Mm -hmm. This is jalebi. We both start with. I love all the J. colors. So you get a little confusing, but uh, I don't. I don't really know the main difference between those two. They all sweet. Okay. But you might want to try the the, the jangri first. Yeah. Jangri ko jalebi ko Sweet and sour. Oh. Wow. Is it sweet. Oh, that is sour. All oh, oh. right, sweet and sour. I didn't know oh that. Oh my gosh. I didn't know that. Like this. Oh wow, syrupy. <laughs> but almost a bit savory. I feel like it's a bit savory. Savory, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Mmm, it's very it's fried. One of those things that, that that you crave every every now and then. That's a good hangover food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, 100 percent. One hundred. I, you I can, can attest, I can attest to, that. to that. I can attest to that. Oh, it matches your hair. Right. <laughs> okay, ready? Mmm. Mm. You like it? Mmm. That's nice. It's still really sweet. Bit more, would they say sour? Nice. Yeah, a little bit more sour. Yeah. I mean, anything next to jale uh, jangri, the one that you had just now. It's going to taste it's less gonna taste sweet. It's going to taste less sweet. <laughs> Different. Awesome. That's so nice. What was this called again? Kal Goba. Uh, milk Goba. I'm gonna be coming back to get. I can get you some later. We okay, we'll, we'll go to the, the sweet shop. shop. Yeah, uh -huh. sweet shop. Legendary Campbell Inn, where during uh, the Pavali time they will have all these booths and all this. Uh, all these amazing things. So this place right here, this place right here is quite legendary. It's called Jodi Store. They get all kinds of things that you need for Indian festivities, all the decorations and sparklers. Look at the sparklers they're selling. Oh, wow. The the reason you have to come to Little India is it is so vibrant, there's so much colour, so many incredible smells and music, sounds going on and obviously uh, Dibhavali is coming up which is the festival of light I believe. Um, there's a really good atmosphere at the moment. So we've just had breakfast and we're going to try and see if we can get into the Indian Heritage Centre which I've not actually been to before. Um, so we're going to go see. Indian Heritage Center mm -hmm. you were saying that you wish more people would come here right yes totally because you know all the history all the great stuff <laughs> about my folks my, how they came down to Singapore the just so rich you know there's a lot of stories that I think people should know about definitely so if you mm -hmm. want to learn more about the Indian Heritage community make sure you head on over here there's lots of like artifacts and stories it's really interesting and it's literally in the heart of Little India yep so we're heading just over the road next to a place called Meat Smear, mm -hmm. which you highly recommend. I highly recommend. It's, it's, it's really nice. It's a fusion, Indian fusion restaurant. They got great food, great beer. We should check that out. But before that, I want to show you the murals. 
Okay. Just right there. Let's go. Let's go. Raj was just saying that because Little India is also another heritage site in Singapore, there's lots of like commissioned murals and yeah. artwork scattered all over Little India. It really brings like vibrancy and more life to the yeah. area, doesn't it? Because yes. that's what I love about Haji Lane as well, and Little India is quite similar to that. We were just admiring the artwork outside and then the owner recognised Raja and has invited us in. It's actually the Singapore Club. I didn't realise this is a really cool, like, unique little place to come get either a drink or they have like this extensive chai list here which is incredible. They have lots of like vintage gems. It's really cool and I actually didn't know there was one here in Little India. So I think we're going to head upstairs in a minute and get a drink. <laughs> The Singapore Club. Wow. Hey, this look is at that. So cool. Oh, it's Alex. <laughs> Right? So this vintage Hi. furniture. Oh, do we can go to the. The guy just kindly let us onto the roof of the Singapore Club. This is such a cool place to come if you want like a panoramic view of the centre of Little India. Mm. Okay, Raja is taking me to a little place to find out what my birthstone is, right? Your birthstone and we're gonna... Let's see if we can make you a, a chain or a ring or something. Okay. Something nice that you could bring home, you know? That sounds nice. For, 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 for luck and fortune and, 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 and just great health and just <laughs> great overall life. You Perfect. Know what I mean? Let's make 2020 a good year. Yeah. So right now we're in Abirami Jewelers, one of the most iconic places to get your birthstone, your, to find out what your birthstone is, to get the type of stones that works best for you based on your birth date and your astrology uh, start, uh, chart. So if you believe in that type of thing, this is the place for you. We're going to find out what your birthstone is in just a second. Great. What's your birth date? 29th of December 1990. So according to your birth date and your Indian astrological astrology calculation, yes. you can wear emerald, okay. pearl and cat's eye. Cat's eye. Cat's eye. Cat's eye. Cat's eye. Cat's eye. Well, I have a pearl wedding ring. You have a pearl wedding ring? Yeah. Oh, that's great. So that's perfect. Did you, did you know that pearl is great for you? No, I didn't know that. But this I love pearls. Divine coincidences. <laughs> and emerald. I think I knew that already. You, you, you knew about I love emerald green. Mm -hmm. That's literally my favorite color at the moment. Really? Perfect. Wow. I'm going to have to everything come back here and buy everything pearl and emerald. Wow. 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 They say diamonds are what girl's best friend. Is, is it what they say? Why, why, why can't they be my best friend? They are. Right? Does it look nice? What do you think? That's shiny enough. I think. I think it's a little. We can we can try a little shinier than this. Who knew that so many people would be buying jewelry on a lunchtime? <laughs> Only in Little India. So you guys definitely have to come out. There's so many jewellery stores scattered along Little India, so many places to get amazing gold jewellery. I'm definitely definitely going to be coming back, there's a few necklaces that I've got my eyes on. Uh, where are we going now? We've got one last place to go, right? Right now we're going to Meet Smith. Meet Smith. Meet Smith, finally Which I'm going to bring you. the same founders as Burnt Ends. So if you like Burnt Ends, yeah. you're going to like Meet Smith, so let's head there now. It's great! <laughs> It's nice, man. It's nice. Kingfish and olive oil caviar. I hope you guys just caught that. They basically just bought this over. Biryani Naguri. Oh, this looks so good. Did you do it all in one? Yeah, all in one. Put the whole thing in one. Mmm. Like? Mmm. So many flavors today. 
so many. That's what I love about about. Indian food, is there's just so many flavours. Mmm, that's delicious. We've got beers. It's a good lunch time. (laughs) We didn't didn't clean. (laughs) It's so dark. Is it really? Yeah. We just wrapped up eating at Meat Smith. It was absolutely delicious. We only had a few starters, right? Yeah, we had a few starters. A couple of G&Ts later. I recommend the uh, Madras fish kati, brisket chapati. I recommend Kerala short ribs. Okay, they all sound incredible. Right? If you're a meat lover, make sure you come to meet me. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much, Raja, for taking me around. This has obviously been such a nice day. Yes, it was very fun. Yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing some new spots around Little India. Be sure to head down here and check it out. There's so much to do and see and eat some absolutely delicious food. Uh, Be sure to thumbs up this video if you do enjoy it. I will leave everything from Raja down below in the description box so you go check them out for yourself. And we will see you in the next one. Bye guys! <laughs> You're gonna make a YouTube channel, right? Yeah. Please yes. do. I will do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. I have a YouTube Thumbs channel. Thumbs up if Raja should start a YouTube channel. Hey man, listen, you might just <laughs> be the start of something great. Bye guys!